this is a service with which I think many of us have very, very deep roots and a very deep connection to the service. Um, whether you've been part of a camping ministry or simply have just attended the services throughout your years, this service has a way of very beautifully becoming planted in our hearts. The melodies are very simplistic. Um, the words are very earnest and are easy for all of us to find a way in which we identify, whether it's personally, whether it is asking uh, the Theotokos' intercessions for someone that we know, someone who's uh, very close to us and loved by us. They are words that I think in a very true sense are timeless um, in a way that maybe most words are not um, in the sense that through all the different kind of maladies and sufferings and things that we might go through, there is such application. And I was taking just kind of a personal note throughout the service tonight, but there were so many examples of times where we asked for specific intercessions for disease. And the hymn maybe talked about lying on our, our uh, sick bed or our bed of infirmity um, and knowing and asking and praying these words knowing that the Theotokos is our only consolation, our only hope. And I was talking with uh, Father Tom just a few days ago, and I think it's such a blessing for us in this time that as many other, um, whether it's whether organizations, whether it's our work setting or whether it are, is other churches or other aspects of our community, are struggling to adapt and find a way into continuing to work or operate or speak into this particular moment, our church, in a sense, has no problem doing that. We have no problem. We're right there because we have had this experience for 2,000 years. We've had this experience of human life, of tragedy, of so on and so forth. And so when we find ourselves in deepest need, when maybe we are at a loss for words, when we don't know what else to say, what else to pray, what else to offer, the church is here ready to care for us, to give us the words that we need to ask for intercession, whether it is in the divine liturgy, whether it's the funeral service, whether it is uh, the paraclesi service, the church is ready to respond in our moments where maybe we feel most vulnerable or most unable to articulate what our needs are. And I hope that in offering this service tonight that there was able to be that kind of salve for us, not just a kind of calming, maybe temporary feeling of relaxation or, um, or a kind of uh, release from feelings that we're experiencing, but God willing, a deeper kind of peace as we continually call to mind that it is through the Theotokos' assistance, it's through Christ's assistance that we're able to endure all the different sufferings that we encounter in life. And with their grace, their strength, and their wisdom, and their patience, which is our prayer for you this evening. May God protect and keep all of you and your families healthy and safe in this time.